So, good day everyone. I'm Catherine Aleo from VSBA and from C and I discuss leadership training. So, what is leadership all about? Leadership is the art of motivating group of people to act toward achieve, achieving a common goal. This means directing your subordinates or followers with a strategy to meet their goals. Leadership is one of the highly considered qualities of an individual to be successful in life. Lead, leading life posi positively in all aspects can influence others to follow his good deeds and examples. The leadership and the use of power. So what is power? Power is the ability to influence the behavior of others to bring about desired outcomes. You are considered to have a power if you can change the behavior and attitudes of, the, of other individuals. Power is the central element in the exercise of leadership. Without power, leadership collapses. People who aspire to lead must be able and willing to use power. So, sabi dito, ng leadership without power, sa leadership collapse. Sabi dito, na hindi mabubuo ang leadership kung walang power. Power comes from different sources and can be classified as follows. Number one is legitimate power, also called as position power. It is delegated from a higher authority in formal organizations. Legitimate power may be a reward if the position holder issues compensation tasks for tasks satisfactorily done. If negative sanctions as punishment are meted out, the power being used is coercive. Example, the power derived from the position you hold in an organization, president or vice president. The subordinates comply because they believe in the legitimacy of your position. The higher the, higher the organizational hierarchy you have, the more power you hold. Number two is referent power, also called a charismatic power. It comes from the personal qualities of a leader. Leaders with his with this type of power hold and attract people through the strength of their personality. Example, people follow you not because of your position but because they respect you. A human resource manager is who is known for ensuring the welfare of his subordinates and treats them fairly will gain referent, referent power. So, ang referent power daw is a form of a reverent Reverence gained by a leader who has a strong interpersonal relationship skills. Referent power as an aspect of personal power becomes particularly important as organizational leadership becomes increasingly about collaboration and influence and less about command, command and control. The rest is expert power, also known as knowledge power. This arises from a person's specialized, na specialized knowledge and information about certain situations. It also depends on one's training, education, and experience. For example, the marketing director at your company may have risen to their position because of their knowledge in the field of marketing. So this is the qualities of a good leader. Number one is determination. A good leader has never-ending determination. He is the first one to initiate an idea and the last one to give up. It is because of a leader's determination that projects are completed. Sabi dito na bilang isang leader, dapat ikaw yung unang makakaisip ng idea at dapat ikaw din yung kauna-una hindi mag-give up. Dapat, lagi lang positive yung mindset mo na magagawa nyo na kaya nyo. Number two is flexibility. A good leader can adapt to any situation. He sees, the, he sees the situation from many different angles and can, can adjust himself accordingly. Sabi dito na ang isang leader ay dapat umangkop sa anumang sitwasyon. Nakikita niya ang sitwasyon sa iba't ibang mga angulo at maaari niya itong ayusin ng naayos at naaangkop. Number 3 is Resourcefulness. Leaders don't always get what they want easily, but they are creative. They think of ways to get what they want. An attitude of resourcefulness inspires out, inspires out of the box thinking 
that the generation of new ideas and the ability to visualize or the possible ways to achieve what, to de what you desire. Resourcefulness turns you into a scrappy, inventive, and enterprising entrepreneur. It places you a cut above the rest. Number four is creativity. Thinking of effective ways of doing things that don't require a lot of time, effort, or money. So, creative leadership is the ability to create and realize innovative solutions, especially in the face of structural, complex, or changing situations. It refers to those people who, when all is shifting and new approaches are yet unknown, can still create clarity of purpose for their teams. Number five is self-confidence. People will follow a leader who believes in him or herself. This does not mean being arrogant, rather it means trusting in yourself and your abilities. Susundin at nagkinig sa yung mga tao o yung mga members mo na kung ikaw mismo may tiwala ka sa sarili mo at sa kakayahan mo. Number six is positive attitude or optimism. A great leader has a positive outlook and tries to make the best out of everything. Sabi dito na ang best leader daw o or ang great leader ay laging may positive na pananaw at ibinibigay ang lahat ng makakaya sa lahat ng bagay. Number seven is responsibility. A great leader understands what, what, that whatever happens in his team, whether good or bad, in his responsibility. He does not take all the credit for work well done and does not blame others when there is a failure. Sabi dito na ang great leader daw, Ano man ang mangyari sa kanyang team, maganda man ito o maganda, dapat hindi niya isisi sa iba o sa kanyang katim yung mga, yung mga nangyari na yan. At dapat hindi niya pinapasa sa iba yung mga trabaho na dapat siya ang gumagawa. Kasi bilang leader, responsibilidad niya yun. Number 8 is good communication skills. What makes a leader great in his ability to communication effectively with his team, a good leader understands that people don't understand messages in the same way so is always confirming that he or she has said and has heard or understood sabi dito na ang, da ang leader ay dapat may mga may magandang komunikasyon sa kanyang team lagi number 9 is consistency reliability accountability a good leader is dependable always does his or her best takes action and delivers good result. Sabi dito na ang good leader daw ay eh dapat laging ginagawa ang kanyang best at dapat din lagi ito may magandang result. Number 10 is planning ahead. A good leader plans and knows what is up ahead. He had he has good judgment in predicting what will happen in the future and can make work decisions based on that. Sabi dito na ang good leader daw dapat pinipredict niya yung mga mangyayari sa future. Parang tingitimbang niya na kapag ginawa niya to, ano mga yari, na kapag ginawa, hindi niya to ginawa, ano yung mga pwedeng mangyayari. Ta kasi dahil doon, nakikita niya yung kung ano, pa, kung ano ba yung, mga, yung dapat niyang decision para doon. Number 11 is patience. Having the responsibility needs patience in all aspects. Sabi dito na uh, bilang leader dapat responsibilidad mong maging mapagpasensya. Dahil pasensya ang kailangan sa lahat ng aspeto. Number 12 is being of objective. A good leader does not take sides but is open to different opinions. Bilang leader dapat Hindi ka namimili kung sino lang yung papakinggan mo. Dapat open ka sa iba't ibang opinion. Number 13, the last is perceptive. A good leader has an awareness of the people he is leading. Sabi dito na ang good leader dapat aware ka sa mga kasama mong tao na kinikilala ka bilang isang leader. So these are the guidelines to achieve leadership. Number one is practice discipline. A good leader needs to develop discipline in both 
professional and personal life. People will judge your capacity to lead by the amount of discipline you display. Bilang leader, dapat alam mo yung ugali mo sa trabaho at yung ugali mo sa personal na buhay dahil magkaiba yun. Ijudge ka ng mga tao kung pangit yung pakikitungo mo sa kanila at kung pangit yung pinapakita mong ano, pinapakita mong disiplina sa kanila. Number two is know yourself. A good leader knows himself, his abilities and limitations. If he cannot do other things, then he must accept that everyone has his own imita limitations. Also, if you know yourself, you will be assured and confident of what you can do. So, sabi dito, ang good leader daw dapat alam at kilala ang kanyang sarili. Alam niya yung mga kakayahan at yung mga hindi niya kayang gawin. Kung hindi mo kaya ang isang bagay, dapat i-accept mo na lahat ng tao ay may kanya-kanyang limitasyon. Also, kung kilala mo talaga ang inyong sarili, dapat confident ka sa mga kaya mong gawin at hindi mo kayang gawin. Number three is learn to follow. A good leader has no problem in yielding control to another person when appropriate. You should not feel threatened when someone disagrees with you or puts forth ideas of their own. Keep an open mind and give merit to them. Learn to value and respect others on your team and they will respect you back. As the saying goes, 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 a good leader is also a good follower. Sabi dito na ang good leader daw ay kayang pasunurin ang iba. Hindi ka dapat matreten kung merong ibang hindi sumasangayon sa'yo. Sabi nga dito, irespeto, a good leader is also a good follower. Irespeto mo yung iba para is irespeto ka din nila. Number four is be mentally alert. You must always be ready for any decision. Know how to decide with, well and make decision promptly. Dap sabi dito na dapat ready ka sa anumang decision. Hindi ka dapat mag-decision ng basta-basta. Dapat ito ay pinag-isipan mong mabuti. Number five is develop situational awareness. A good leader can see the bigger picture and anticipate problem before it occurs. The ability to foresee and provide suggestion to avoid future problems is valuable for a leader. Sabi dito na ang good leader dapat nakikita niya, nakikita niya na yung mga problema ang pwedeng mangyari bago pa, bago pa to mangyari. Dapat nag-provide ka din ng mga suggestions para maiwasan itong mga problema ito na maaaring mangyari sa mga leader. Number six is inspire the and empower your teammates. You are part of the team and as a leader, you should be able to motivate and inspire those who you work with for you to collaborate as the best as they can. No one is the best at everything. Trust your team and delegate the task to them. Leaders can also give guidance and encouragement. Sabi dito, dapat minamotivate mo at ini-inspire mo yung mga teammates mo para ganahan sila magtrabaho at gawin nila yung mga, traba yung mga best nila sa abot ng kanilang makakaya. Tandaan mo, no one is the best at everything. Kailangan mo lang magtiwala sa mga, sa mga teammates mo at dapat, you can also give a guidance and encouragement to them. Number seven is keep learning. Learning process doesn't end after you graduated from schooling. A good leader is never updated and always keeps learning new things. It keeps your mind sharp and refresh and enhances your skills. Go outside your comfort zone and welcome new challenges. And number seven means that hindi po kahit nakatapos ka na ng pag-aaral ay alam mo na lahat. Sa, na ang good leader dapat ay gustong matuto at ma-learn ang mga bagong bagay. Always keep your mind that sharp and refresh and enhance your skills. Mabas ka sa iyong comfort zone at i-welcome mo yung mga new ideas and challenges. 
The last is number eight. Learn to adjust to change. We live in a changing world, so our way of life often changes. Accept them as the way as as they come and be ready to adjust them, especially if they are for your betterment. So these are the eleven principles of leadership. Number one is take responsibility of your action regardless of the outcomes. Isipin mo, bago ka gumawa ng isang bagay, isipin mo muna yung mga posibleng mangyari o ginawa mo yun. Number two is set the example. Maging example ka sa mga teammates mo. Kunwari mabait ka sa kanila, magiging mabait din sila sa iba. Kasi ikaw yung parang example. Number three is know yourself and make improvement. Kilalanin mo yung sarili mo at dapat Mag-improve ka bilang leader. Number four is seek responsibility and develop a sense of responsibility. Ensure that the task is understood. Dapat i-ensure mo na yung pinigay mong task sa kanila ay maiintindihan nila. Know your men and look out for, the, for their welfare. Keep your men always informed. Dapat lagi silang informed sa mga nangyayari. Train your men as a team. Employ your command on the right time and place. Know your job truly. Make sound and timely decision. Leadership styles. Leadership style refers to the consistent manner a leader behaves in the approaching situation toward influencing the behavior of the leader. Number one is autocratic leaders, centralized power and decision making in themselves. The leader take full authority and assume full responsibility but, expe but expect discipline, obedience, and compliance from members. Next number two is participative leaders, also called democratic leaders. Share power and authority with the members of the group. Decisions are not unilateral because they arise from consultation with followers and participation by them. Because communication is two-way, employees and informed about conditions affecting their jobs and encouraged to express their ideas and make suggestions. The last number, th number three is lies fair and free reign leaders. Avoid power and responsibilities. They depend largely upon the group members, train themselves, and provide their own motivation. The leaders play only minor roles. So that's all. And I hope na madami kayong natutunan sa discuss ko about leadership training. And thank you for listening.